the introduction huh um my chat today my car chat is about praising and worshiping and I, I, I have confession lately my car <laughs> as you can see by my car chats my car has been also my praise and worship time My prayer time is my shower time. I guess it's just about multitasking, right? Well, when I was a stay-at-home mom, I would I would have praise and worship music on a lot throughout the day. Honestly, it really clears my mind. It helps me remember the good things and the God is always with me, even when I'm feeling lonely, even when I'm feeling guilty, even when I'm feeling, you know, the lowest of low. He's not leaving me. I do um, try to turn it on still at the house, but when I'm not there as much, you know, I only work three days a week, but it does. It When you've been a stay-at-home mom, you've been home for almost 20 years. I would say 18, 19 years. Um, and you're like used to being what, you know, new home, stay-at-home moms feel like stuck in the house or... Or just kind of almost lonely when your kids are real little because as much as you love them you still kind of want that adult conversation well my chat today is about you've always got somebody with you and that's God and I don't know what your feeling is or what your religion is or however you want to you know word it or or name it, but um, I have a relationship with Jesus, and so I know that I can talk to him anytime, I can pray to him, I can sing to him. <clears throat> Some days, I don't do so much speaking, and that's honestly a good thing, and I probably don't have those days near enough, 
Usually it's me venting or asking or even thinking, you know, there's just a lot of things that I have to say. Some days you just need to listen. And some days when I go to work, those are my days where, um, some days, some days I'm blaring the music and then other days I am just sitting in silence, which used to scare me used to scare the crap out of me <laughs> because I mean I was okay I had my first child when I was in high school I got married in high school so we ended up having our baby in high school also and um we got together early I mean I went from my parents to my husband to having kids all you know right there we bought our first house that same year um, so, and then, you know, two years later I was, you know, birthing another baby. So, um, and then two years later I birthed another baby and it just kind of went on from there. But, um, I, I don't know what quiet is or I didn't very much. I guess you go through seasons and that's kind of my point here is we go through seasons and sometimes, and it's not going to last forever. When you feel lonely, just know that you're not alone. Know that you have someone, even in your hard times, to praise. You should be thankful every day. Every day I open my eyes, I'm thankful. And do I automatically open my eyes? Thanks, God, for opening my eyes. Thank you for that alarm that just went up. No, I, I'm not really, I guess, not that grateful. <laughs> <laughs> this morning was really hard to wake up. We had a swim meet last night, and so we didn't get out of there until very late. And when you have five children to get home and unwind, because that's what happened when I got home last night. Me and my husband were wiped out, and the kids were just wound up. I mean, it's 11.30 at night, and my five-year-old's telling me she's hungry. And I'm just thinking... I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, you know, and you don't want to over, overfeed your kids at 1130 at night. So you're trying to figure out what's a quick snack so that she can feel fulfilled, but not put her to bed without anything because then she's not going to, she's going to have a hard time sleeping too. So just a little something. And then at that point, I make sure they go to the bathroom, too. I mean, she's five, so she hasn't had an accident in a long, 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 long time. But um, you just never know. I mean, parenting, right? But anyways, um, it was hard to get up this morning because we got to bed so late last night. And thankfully, the rest of them do not have anything to do this morning. So they get to sleep in a little bit. But And, and they were all asleep when I left. And... Um, so now that I'm at work or at my job, I um, just wanted to chit chat about that. But anyway, so yeah, you go through some, some challenging seasons and you have to understand that no matter what season you're in, it's a season. So therefore there is an end to it. I mean, even if you're in Montana, there is an end to the snow. Now, end probably is a big word for Montana because it's not going to be long before you get snow again kind of thing. But you go through seasons, and seasons are just that. They come and go. And so when my little ones were little, we did play a lot of praise and worship. But honestly, I didn't get a lot of alone time with God. And so it was challenging, but I got through that. You know, I mean, it's one of those things. Your kids are little, and God knows that, you know, your focus right then is, you know, on your children. You go through seasons where all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, I'm married. <laughs> you know, you're married. But you're like, oh, I need to reconnect with him. Or, you know, you need to, you realize, you know, your own parents you need to reconnect with. Maybe maybe it's been a long time since you've had, um, you know, a mom and daughter time or um you know you just want to take your mom out or um 
you know, anything. Maybe it's your child. Maybe you have one child that has kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit with you and you just kind of feel like, you know, you need some alone time. Well, God feels like that too. And he would love to have lots of alone time with you because not only does he want to hear you vent, you know, he wants to have communication with you that way. He wants you to praise and worship him, but he also wants you to listen. And so, you know, um, even if it's just, okay, you've got 15 minutes break at work, bring your Bible, bring your Bible and start reading it and then reflect on it. And, you know, um, reflection is a really big thing because I used to tell, you know, my, my older kids, I remember, you know, sitting them in, you know, sitting them on a chair and saying, you know what, you're going to take a time out. And you're going to think about what you've done, you know, if they've, you know, not listened and, and went ahead and did what they wanted anyways. And when they disobey, you know, so, um, and even I've said to, to them before, hey, mommy needs a timeout. And it's not a bad thing. And I've explained that to them. It's not a bad thing. We need to take some time out sometimes. We need to reflect on what we've just done or what we have been doing or what we just read or what we, you know, what we think we heard God say, God talks to us a lot and we just don't hear him. So we need to really figure out how we can, we can change that. I think that we all need to listen a little bit. Um, God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason. And so, I, I mean, I'm sure you've heard that before, but it's true. I mean, even with our children, two ears, one mouth, we need to listen more. All right, guys, I don't want to make this too long. I know that I had a, a long introduction, so I want to wrap it up there. Um, all of my little car chats I have um, on on my channel, I'm really hoping to go through each one and kind of stretch what I've said and kind of go in more detail of what I've said, but these are just literally car chat so it's not going to be um extremely detailed it's just whatever's on my mind that day you know and I hope that I connect with somebody in that way you know um I'm not a professional I'm not a um you know some kind of um leadership person that can word everything exactly. I'm not a YouTube star. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not some actress. I'm just somebody who's chit-chatting with you at this point. So, um, we don't know. This is a season. I don't know what the, the future holds, but I do know that God wants to be with you seven days a week, not just one, not just two. He wants to be with you all the time. So, that's my my little thing for today is take some time, take some time out and visit with God and just listen. All right. Be blessed. Have a great day.